I seriously love this. And then you start falling to the core of the earth. Like, come on. Oh, and by the way, if you don't beat this boss in time, um, if you don't beat this boss in time, then you, then you will die, because you are falling to the core of the earth, and you will run out of ground eventually. You won't always, you, yeah. You can't always expect to land on something perfectly. Hit your own robots. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, you can also sidestep with, um, yeah. You're gonna kill your robots. Darn it. Ha! He's lost control again. By the way, we haven't come up to it yet, but... Oh no, this is the end! Shoot! Oh wait. Oh. Shoot, I beat him too quickly. But guys, if you watch my video of this boss, he says like the, my favorite Eggman line ever. Yeah, and this is always random. Oh, well, actually not all of it. I think right now it's automatically B. Oh shoot, except for that. By the way, if you think 16 is a, is a lot, you should see the final boss. Basically, if you wait long enough, um, Eggman, while he's destroying the platform, will say, Stupid little pincushion, give up and die already. And that's just an awesome line. And that was an asshole. I remember when I first did the boss and I got an A rank, I was like, Yeah, I'm gonna post this as a video. How could I lose? Is it over? I'll build a prototype too, and it. Hmm? <sighs> what? It's Dark Gaia. Insolent little hedgehog! Kick him to the outer limits of space!
Okay guys, so you should have just seen the cutscene for this. And this is the final boss of Sonic Unleashed. This game is a lot shorter than I remember it, but I'm gonna do all the extra stuff. Okay, so you may be wondering you may have be having trouble getting um, an S rank on this boss and wondering why can't I get an S rank? Well, the secret is these meteors count as enemy points. So what you have to do is punch as many of these meteors as possible while getting a good time. So you're going to want to actually hit these meteors with your punch. I, I forgot you could attack with the left trigger. I'm going to do, do that now. But essentially, if you attack these, it accounts as towards enemy points. So now he's going to start charging this laser. So what you want to do is press LB and move out of the way while he's shooting it. And you press X to boost. So this is like... I like this so much better than the Wii version. I mean, the Wii version's cool too. It's like Punch-Out, but it's just so much more epic. Okay. When you get really close, you might want to just charge up your punch and like let it go right away. Oh, well, I got there. And then you do a quick time event. I do kind of wish you just had the chance to punch him yourself, but whatever. So, yeah. Now, this boss is cool though. They, they, um, they made, it wasn't quite as good in the Wii version, but, you know. The Wii version, like, sorry, I'm not gonna, yeah. Yeah, that was epic. And if you saw, Sonic just did some like crazy jumps. Like he he jumped like throughout like the entire thing. So now this is really cool because this is actually made up of all the temples that you had to revive. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, whatever. Just go. And you and unlike the Wii version, you have a time limit. It, it didn't really make sense in the Wii version how there's no time limit because he is kind of like about to shoot his laser at you. So. I mean, it doesn't make sense in the Wii version, you're just kind of standing there. Whatever. So basically there's three phases of this. In the Wii version, you just do, um, you just do Punch-Out, and then three, and then three Sonic stages. But here you do, um, this. Which can get redundant, so. The Wii version scores points there. But, still, I like this fight. I remember my first time playing it. It's cool. Now you don't have to hit, like, a billion of them, just hit a fair enough amount that, you, that you'll get a good amount of points. And you don't have to make direct contact, they just have to be like a little bit after you punch, or a little bit, yeah, it can't be a little bit before, but... So you have to make sure you time it right. Plus the faster you get, the faster he starts throwing them, obviously, so... And here's, you have to punch, so... I'm a fire in my laser! Blah! Also, a little extra thing. You always know when he's about to fire his laser because um, the music is like in tune with the fight. So he'll do stuff depending on the way the music is going. So if you hear the music like reach like this really high note, um, you know that that's coming up. So just release it as soon as he throws it, and you'll hit it. I like how he just stops throwing the meters, and he's like, "Oh, he's right there." And you notice in that in this fight that he's um, always charging his laser. So if you miss two hits, you'll have to do it all over again, but your health will stay the same. So it's really just awful if you mess up. So now I'm kind of nervous. You can always pause and just see what it is, though. In the last one, it's the hardest because it starts using like R B L B um, and a lot of stuff, so it's like kind of mess you up. And once again, let's go back to Sonic. 